given this opportunity to cover approximately 1,200 foot of metal, I went nuts. I thought, well, we're going to have tons of fish in here. It was an ideal spot to put a bit of coral reef, some coral reef fish, butterfly fish, angel fish, parrot fish, the pretty guys that are going to look great on a hull. We're thrilled with the artwork that you see right behind me here on the hull of Norwegian Escape. It really reflects all the beautiful sea life that is represented in the Caribbean. I think my favorite is probably the little butterfly fish down by the stern. He is absolutely perfect. The whole painting of the hull has been a very lengthy, tedious process. Of course, having built the ship, then they, they put a, a white base um, all around the ship. But then on that, they got to use a laser to accurately pinpoint the artwork. Then they tape over the lines that they've, they've drawn on the laser, uh, put in the colors using a roller, it's a big surface area to cover. And then you strip off the, uh, the tape so you get a nice clean finish to all the edges. And gradually, you build the portrait, and it's a step-by-step -step process. The art is so beautiful, but behind that art is an opportunity to educate and entertain. Guy Harvey's been really an inspiration to us as we spent time to, with him. He's really talked about the importance of conservation and sustainability, which are things that are very, very important to us at Norwegian Cruise Line. There's tremendous recycling. Uh, nothing is, is thrown overboard. They're very fuel efficient, and it's great to see Norwegian taking a lead in this respect. We uh, take the ship out of the yard here in September, and then in October we take delivery of Norwegian Escape. And then we come across the Atlantic to her new home in Miami where there'll be a wonderful christening, followed by the ship going into seven-day service to the Eastern Caribbean on a year-round basis. Smooth sailing. <laughs>